James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is October 3rd, 2022, 11 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. All right, today alone we've seen four new additional M-class solar flares. As you can see here, some have been generated by Sunspot AR310 and others generated by the new, more complex Beta Gamma Delta Sunspot AR3112. Now we'll show you all a little bit of each. Let's take a look at some of these flares. This looks like it came in at about an M2.5, followed by an M4.25, followed by maybe an M1.54. And then we just saw an M1.72. Very busy morning, especially after having two large M flares and a C flare push through to clear all of the atmosphere out. All right, headed over to GOES, ultraviolet imager, 195 angstroms. We do see a lot of action, but the only explosion we see is the very last M flare. Uh, not a very powerful M flare compared to several others we've had today. This has happened within the last hour, so you can see it being generated by Sunspot AR3112, which is a very complex beta delta gamma sunspot, and it is ready to blow an X flare according to NASA. Now, our X flare generated yesterday came out of Sunspot AR3110, which is getting near to being around the limb in the next day or so. And this is a quick solar region summary. You can see that Sunspot AR3112 is Beta Gamma Delta. The most complex type of sunspot, always ready to shoot out an X flare and associated CME. Whereas most of the other sunspots, including 3110, are not as complex, although that Beta sunspot has generated an X flare. Head over to Lasco C3. We should be able to see several of these explosions, chrome mass ejections. And the first one should be around 2.30. And we do see that explosion right there. Now that is supposed to have come from Sunspot AR3112. And it doesn't appear to have come from that sunspot. But that's what NASA is telling us. That would be a direct Earth-facing situation. And then we have more action at 10 and 11. And the clock does bring us through there. And you can see top right corner, Sunspot AR3110 explodes. And I guess that's the last we can see on Lasco C3. They kill the feed right before the third M flare at about 11.20. Moving on to the WSA Animal Prediction Center, which is never correct, does have Earth hitting a brick wall, as you can see here, with about 35 centimeters of plasma plus. It's going to happen today at about 3 o'clock central time here in the U.S., so just a few hours away, and one of those first flares should be making impact. Now we do have a quick look at three, the last three uh, M flares. That would be the first one right there. That's going to be it right there. 1020. Right over Africa. And then we're going to see more action. Actually, two more M flares should show up here. And I really didn't see them during the time that they should have shown up. That looks like a pretty strong flare itself. It's going to be at 1532. Now, we did just see them all. This is going to be the last of the four M flares. And this situation back here will be the double M flare. 
It happened so quickly. Two peaks. It's the second peak, and right before that, there's a smaller peak, or there should be. Yes, that was a smaller peak, and that is the stronger peak. So both of those are in flares, the second one being very strong. And then we got lucky, and we got to see the last in flare here at 15, 20, not as strong. The strongest in flare we've had today is, of course, the double whammy here over Africa that registered about an M, well, 4.25, something like that. And there was a actual small M flare or spike after that. That's what we just saw. So over to SDO, we see a lot of action down here. Something that we haven't seen before, and that's going to be today on the 3rd. And AR3110 is just absolutely active. It'll be the third right now. They do kill the feed. This action here, very questionable as to what that was. And I would say that that was responsible for the flare that we saw. It's like the area it should have come from. And although there is action up here at AR3112, Again, the explosion and the CME that we saw in Glasgow all point, and I'll show you when we get to the third, to this sunspot down here, which is not very complex, but there it goes. It might have been a filament eruption, but it was a large event. And what we will do is we'll go take a look at that right now. I would guess that that is not AR-3114. Instead, that is some sort of film interruption that may be connected to AR-3114. But I believe that that caused that last school event that we saw that blew that CME uh, down into the left on looking. So that would make perfect sense. Here we have NOAA's KP index breakdown. Some of the worst forecasting I've ever seen done by NOAA. For October 3rd, we see a geomagnetic storm coming in from 3 to 6 central time here in the U.S., followed up by a moderate storm for an additional 6 hours, following that with a minor storm for an additional 6 hours. And then later tomorrow evening from 3 to 6 and into the 5th UTC time, we have an additional 9 hours of moderate geomagnetic storms according to NOAA, which are, well, they're never right. You ask, how have they done so far? Well, they had us lit up yesterday and the day before. Nothing occurred. And we have seen three hours of a geomagnetic storm, minor. And combined today, six hours of geomagnetic disturbance. But we are still waiting for all of the major M flares that are inbound. And we could have some solar winds causing these disturbances, as we will now see. And we start the day off with solar winds moving from 500 up to almost 600. We have a wild geomagnetic storm here, indication. And I guess that's again the trough followed by the quick step up of solar winds. So a lot of data missing here. So like from about 2 UTC time to about almost 5 UTC, uh, UTC time and some real weird anomalies up here with plasma just jumping up. Again, when time is missing, there is a reason. We've had another couple of indications of space weather events up here. Remember, let's visualize the black as the space weather and the red as our atmosphere protecting us. And we have plasma slowly building up, but really is made up of nothing. We had solar winds go as high as 631 kilometers per second with no solar storm indication. Now, we did get one back here. And uh, since then, we really haven't seen what we're looking for. God bless you guys. Uh, put your seatbelts on and your tinfoil hats on because... The party's supposed to get started at 3, but for some reason, they always cancel the party. 
share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.